Okay, my name's Annika and I've come all the way from Brisbane, Australia where I um, have three children and I'm 35. This is my first ayahuasca experience and the reason I came was through Pedro. Um, I have just caught glimpses of his journey over the years and felt called to come maybe a few years ago and it wasn't until now that I guess the stars were aligned and I have my um, my partner Mick to come, who came with me, and yeah. So. Well, I did come with specific intentions, um, having no idea what this was actually going to be like, and I can barely remember what I thought I was getting myself into, but um, so much has come up. Um, this experience has been so much more than I thought it would be. Um, I, kind, I think I thought I was coming to kind of cleanse myself physically and emotionally, and. Um, I had no idea of the profound depth that, um, of this uh, journey that I've just begun. And as well as just everything around that, um, this experience has been more than just drinking medicine. It's been connecting with beautiful people. It's been, uh, rem it's reminded me of all the most important things in life. Um, Pedro and Carolina have just shown me so much and have shared so much. And yeah, I just I feel really honoured to be here. It's been nothing short of profound and challenging, um, intense, beautiful, rich, yeah, life life giving. Mm -hmm. Probably the most significant ceremony that I experienced was ceremony number three. Ceremony number three for me was hugely challenging. Um, I had basically set my intention to, I'd asked Mama Ayahuasca to show me what I needed to see and I asked my mind and my body to step aside and let my spirit do its work and um, it was <laughs> extraordinarily powerful. Um, it's really hard to put into human terms what exactly happened but I can say that it taught me a lot about um, how strong I am and it taught me a lot about uh, the, in, the immense amount of deep intelligence that um, Mama Ayahuasca holds and um, as well as the, <laughs> the healing strength of Maestro Adriano. Um, I felt really honoured that he worked with me and um, helped me through that, so yeah. <laughs> I am really looking forward to going home to my children. Um, I'm so looking forward to sharing with them everything I've learnt here and um, singing with them and um, I, I really feel like I did some strong work at, in um, clearing things for them so I'm looking forward to seeing their shiny happy faces and uh, and as well it's been such an honour um, to be to have done this retreat with my beautiful partner Mick uh, that's been extremely special so I feel really grateful to be taking this home with him and sharing this for the rest of our lives and um, yeah, it's just really deepened my uh, my view on life, and mm, it's <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so extremely grateful that I listened to myself <laughs> and came, and I'm so extremely grateful to Carolina and Pedro and the beautiful people here at Las Chilpas and Maestro Adriano and Gabrielle for all, for just um, working so hard, you know, um, being so dedicated on their path and then offering such an amazing gift. I feel lost for words about like how grateful I am and just, <laughs> yeah, it's been amazing. <laughs>